Hi, my name is Pete Sampson, and I'm the owner and creator of My Music Office, an online way to organize your music program. In this video, we're going to be talking in great detail about the Equipment Inventory section of the website. So here I am on the main screen, and I can click on the icon for Equipment Inventory. It then brings me to a list of all my equipment. You'll notice the main menu across the top for the Equipment Inventory includes Browse, Add New, Search, Reports, Assign, Repair, Transfer, and Options. Those will stay at, that menu will stay at the top for all pages in the Equipment Inventory section. On the top of the listing, you'll notice there are a couple of drop-downs for Quick Select, the Quick Equipment Type Select, and the Quick Location Select, in which you can easily drill down to those um, specific items that you need in the, in the Equipment Inventory. And then over here, your standard number of items per page and which page you're on choices. You can sort at any time by clicking on the headers of all the columns. So if I want to sort by brand, I can click here and all of a sudden it, it sorts by brand with, with, without refreshing the screen. And then description, which is the default. If I want to see the details about a specific piece of equipment, I can click here and it'll drop down all the information entered about that piece of equipment. Notice the fast last five assignments uh, by year for in the name of the student assigned. So you can keep track of that information. Also a link to be able to put in repair details about the, anything repaired on that instrument or that piece of equipment and then all the other information that you've entered. Once again, you don't have to enter everything, so only what you have entered will display. Next to that, you will see an edit and a delete choice for that record. If I go back up to the top, I can click on Add New, and this will bring me to where I can add a new piece of equipment into the system. You notice these three red choices are the ones that are required in order for a piece of equipment to be put in the system. So I'm gonna choose Instrument. When I start typing, it gives me a nice list of piece of a uh, piece of equipment or instruments this is going to be a trumpet oh, you know what let's make it an alto saxophone brand it's going to be yamaha model number serial number quantity cost purchase date by clicking on the calendar purchase from comments uh, you can put in a uh, image of that piece of equipment so if i click here i will then bring a dialog where i can go choose an image so i can go to my desktop and choose an image to be able to upload. Location, where is it at? These are locations that are either standard or set up in the options area, which we'll talk about later. Case number, inventory number for say your school corporation or school district has a uh, inventory number you have to assign to it. You can assign a student to that instrument here, up to two students per piece of equipment, but you can also do it under the assign tab at the top, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Last date of contact, if you need to keep track of when you saw that instrument last by clicking on the calendar. Equipment condition, and then once again, this will show the, fa the last five assignments to that piece of equipment right here. Down at the bottom, when you enter this in, you'll notice it gives you the choice to either enter more equipment or return to the equipment inventory. A lot of times you're entering more than one piece of equipment at a time, so if that's the case, you would then click on that. But I'm gonna say, let's return back to the equipment inventory. I hit okay, and there we go. So now I can see that new piece of equipment right here. When I go down to look at the details, there's the image that I put. I click on that image and I can see a full res image of that saxophone. Under search, you can quickly find a piece of, equi uh, of equipment in your search. So by description, I can then type in, say, mellow, mellow from Mellophone, hit search, and then here are all of my Mellophones. And once again, all the details follow me everywhere you go. So when I click on this, I'm gonna see all the details, including the picture right here. I don't have to go back. I can see them all right here. If I want to refine that search, say I only want to see mellows um, that are case number one or have a one in the case number, click here. And now only the ones that have a one in the case number are going to appear. If I want to start a new search, click here. Notice students assigned will only bring up the students that have an actual uh, instrument assigned to them. So right now there are two students in the system here that have instruments assigned to them. And so if I click on that name, it'll then bring up that marching baritone assigned to that student. Once again, details follow you everywhere. You can also edit and delete from this menu as well. In the reports, this is printable reports, and so a lot of standard reports are done for you. So if I just wanted to uh, do a full inventory sorted by student assigned, get a list of all of the equipment assigned by students, here it is, alphabetic order by last name of the student. Or if I just want a nice long list of all of my equipment sorted by description, here it is. And notice the things that you really need are on this list because I'm an educator, I do this every day. These are the things that I know you're going to need if you make a list, the model, case, serial number, student, assigned location, and how many you have. 
You can print custom customizable reports down here. So if I say I wanted to uh, have Alto, all my Yamaha Altos sorted by description, and I can call it Alto Report. Generate the report. And now you'll notice these are all Yamaha Alto saxophones that have appeared on the report. So you can customize the report that you want to, that you want, want to be able to uh, you know, print off and have on hand. The assign tool, this is a huge function uh, in the uh, equipment inventory section. So go here and I can say I want to assign to a student. Here's a list of all my students. Remember this uh, demo account only has seven students in it. Usually there'd be a big long list of students. I can choose the name of a student. It says nothing's been assigned to them so far. Well, if I go and find this student, I know there's an alto saxophone already assigned to him. So once again, the details follow you. I don't have to go back. Okay, if I want to add something else, he's an alto saxophone player, but for this next concert, he really needs to play the wood maraca. I hit add, and now that maraca is assigned to the student. If I want to get rid of that, all I have to do is hit return, say okay, gone. That easy to assign instruments to a student. Equipment inventory verification. This is a great tool, especially for large districts that need to verify the equipment that they have every single year, but even a single teacher could find this very, very useful. So at the end of the year, I could say all equipment. It's gonna show all my equipment. And then all I have to do is simply check when I've seen that piece of equipment. If I wanted to drill down a little bit and say, oh, I just wanna see the alto saxophones, notice those two I selected are still selected, and I can go through and just make sure I have all my instruments on hand. It's a great way to kind of close the year out. If you are in a big school district and you have a district management account, your district manager will then be able to see this as well and be able to keep track of all that information on a district-wide level. The repair database is exactly that. It keeps track of all the repairs for your equipment. So right here under the Salto saxophone, you'll see there are two repairs that have been done, a student paid repair and a neck cork. Okay, the total is right here. I can add a repair by clicking right here and then adding in the details of that repair. Okay, or I can view all the repairs right here and edit or delete them uh, as, we, as, as you see them individually. Or I could actually print out a report for that piece of equipment. So say I've spent hundreds of dollars repairing an instrument, I can hand this report to an administrator and say, hey, look, I've spent a lot of money repairing this piece of equipment, I think I need a new one. And that's some great uh, validity to your request. The transfer area is the same as most sections of the website in which you can upload and download your data. Okay, so if I wanna download the information, I choose the fields in which I wanna download, click here to continue, and then this is a text file that you can put into a, a uh, Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheets and then be able to make uh, mail merges or whatever you wanna do with your data. Um, it's all available to you at any time. And then of course you can upload into the system. So say you're new to my music office and you have a spreadsheet going of all of your equipment. Okay, you can actually click on this file, open it up in Excel or any sort of spreadsheet program, and then paste your information in, save it, go down to the bottom, choose the file and send it up and boom, all of your equipment is now in MMO and it's done very quickly and easily. The system is a little picky, picky about the data in which it comes into because it has to be in order to make sure the data does not get corrupted. If you have any issue at all, if it rejects your upload, just fill out a help desk ticket or email me at webmaster at mymusicoffice.com. Send me the file and I'll take a look at it. I'll make sure it gets into your system, no problem. And then the options area shows some global options such as the ensemble selections and, new, and custom ensembles, which we've talked about in other sections of the system, but you can then choose which ensembles are going to be able to be, show up by default and then add new ensembles in. And then down here, you can actually add to your equipment types and your locations. Below here is a complete uh, reset of your equipment assignment information. Some people would like to reset every year and not have to bother changing equipment assignments. And so if you click this button, it will wipe all assignments to all students of any equipment into your system. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the uh, instrument or equipment inventory section. Not only can this be done for instruments, it can be done for any piece of equipment, whether it be a technology, uh, it could be an instrument, it could be risers, it could be literally anything you need to keep track of uh, in your system. It could be props for any sort of a show, uh, flags, uh, just really anything uh, that goes into any music uh, program. Uh, so I would in invite you to kind of mess around with it a little bit, find out how it's going to be most helpful for you. And if you have any questions, make sure you email me once again, webmaster at mymusicoffice.com or fill out a help desk ticket 
Remember, my music office starts at only $199 a year. And uh, if you do three years, you save $100. You do five years, you save $200. It basically gets you a free year. Uh, and so it's by far the most affordable program on the market and by far the easiest to use for sure with the best customer support. Once again, if I can help you, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great rest of your school year.